Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. Now we're going to be doing question number eight from the Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level Edexcel October 2019 paper. Um, here we have a question which tells us that solutions relying on cal calculator technology are not acceptable in this question. And we're told that figure two shows, this shows a sketch of a part of a curve with the equation given as y equals 8 times root x minus 5 all over 2x squared where x is greater than 0 and we are asked to find the area of the shaded part which is marked r which is enclosed we are asked to find the exact area of it and it's enclosed by um, the curve the line x equals 2 and the line the x-axis and the line x equals 4 so when we integrate a function between the limits of x like here 2 and 4 if we integrate this function between those limits <coughs> um, with respect to x we'll find the area under the curve okay up to the x-axis between those limits so that's what we have to do we have to find the integral of y with respect to x between the limits of a and b and that will give you the area between the curve the x-axis and the lines x equals a and x equals b that's what it's going to do all right so that's what we have to do for this particular function so we have to integrate this okay we have to integrate the function between 2 and 4 and the function is 8 times root x minus 5 over 2x squared i have to integrate that with respect to x so i need to get this prepared for integration first in order to prepare it for integration i have to be able to split it up into separate terms so I'm going to write this one fraction as two separate fractions and I'm going to write any x I see in third form in index form. So the square root of x is x to the power of a half. And you've got x to the power of 8, x to the power of a half over 2x squared minus 5 over 2x squared. And this has to be integrated with respect to x. Because I split it into separate terms, I have to put the brackets and I have to put the dx with these brackets here so the dx uh, refers to all of this We're integrating all of this with respect to x and i have my limits of four and two there um, i'm still not quite ready let me combine the x terms into one term in the numerator so the eight and the two will cancel out give me four i'll have x to the power of well a half minus two subtract the powers when you're dividing so a half minus two is a half minus four over two which is minus three over two and then you have minus 5 over 2 x to the power of minus a half and you've got to integrate that with respect to x okay the limits are 2 and 4 now it's ready to be integrated so when i integrate it i must use square brackets and i must put the limits at the end of the end so first of all to integrate this i have to add 1 to the power so minus 3 over 2 plus 1 is minus a half then I have to divide by the new power, which is minus a half. And I've got minus 5x to the power of, add 1 to the power, gives me minus 1, divided by the new power. So it's going to be minus 1 times the 2, which is going to give you minus 2 down there. And then you've got your limits of 4 and 2, which you now you write on the right side of these square brackets. Okay, now I can just tidy that up a bit before I start substituting. So now I've got here, this is dividing by a fraction is going to be multiplying by its reciprocal. So this is 4 divided by a half, which comes 4 times 2, but it's negative. So I'll put negative 8x to the power of negative a half. And here you're going to have the minus and the minus will give you a plus. So you'll have 5 and I'm going to write this as x to the power of 2, 5 over 2x to the power of 1. So that x to the power of minus 1 comes down. And what I'll do also in this one step as well, just to save some space, I'll write this as 8 minus 8 over the over the square. No, in fact, I'll do that on the next line just to, just to show you properly. So it's 8x to the power of minus a half here. Okay, now what we can do here is we can express this in a way that's easy for us to substitute the values in. So I'll have minus 8 over... Now, this will be x to the power of a half underneath because it's a negative power on top. 
but the square the the, the 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 something to the power of negative half is the same as the square root of that thing so it's minus 8 over the square root of x plus 5 over 2x and here you've got your limits 4 and 2 so now we can just substitute those values into here so you've got minus 8 over the square root of 4 plus 5 over 2 times 4 minus and then you're going to have 2 put into here so you have minus 8 over the square root of 2 plus 5 over 2 times 2 okay that's going to give you minus 8 over 4 over 2 sorry minus 8 over 2 plus 5 over 8 minus well you can say plus that's going to be plus 8 over root 2 and minus 5 over 4 okay so we can just write this in the exact form so let's get the fractions these separate this is going to be um, we can express them all over 8 this is going to be minus 8 Minus, so you multiply this by by 4, so that's going to be minus 32 over 8, plus 5 over 8, minus 10 over 8, and you've got plus 8 over root 2, which we can rationalize this part of it. So you're going to have minus 32, minus 42, plus 5, minus 42, plus 5 is minus 37 over 8, okay, and you're going to have, that's going to be 8 times root 2 over plus 8 times root 2 over 2, which gives you 4 root 2. So it's going to be 4 root 2 minus 37 over 8. Okay, a bit of a, a bit fiddly at the end, but I'm sure if you put this in your calculator from this stage here, and you came up with the answer, they would accept it. But I just wanted to show you how it works. So that's the answer to question um, 8, part 1. Now, they said solutions based or relying on calculated technology are not acceptable in this question. So I'll show you what they mean and I'll show you what you should do to make sure that your answer is correct. What you should do to make sure your answer is correct is do what they say you shouldn't do and but after showing what you had to do just to check to make sure that your answer is correct you could substitute you could write all of this in your calculator as follows especially with these new class quiz ones it's really easy. You have an x button over here, so 8 times root x minus 5, be careful to take it outside the square root sign, over 2 times x squared. And then you put the limits in of 2 and 4. If these were separate terms, you'd have to put brackets just like I did here. Okay, you'd have to do that. But anyway, if you press equals here, it should give us our answer. Now, it won't give us the answer. Uh, insert form it will give us like a rounded answer so I'm going to store this as a and then I'm going to compare it to what I get when I do 4 root 2 minus 37 over 8 whoops what am I doing I have to get out the square root sign first minus 37 over 8 now that should give us the same value and I think exactly it was the same value let's just recall our last answer yes 1.0318 okay and that was our answer all right 1.0318 okay so we know we, we're see now you've done that you can be rest assured that after all of this uh, you know hard work trying to keep concentrated not making a silly mistake that you have now got the right answer at the end okay if you are if you wrote your answer with as one as one fraction you could do if you want to that's fine for example if you multiplied both top and bottom by 8 here you'd have 32 root 2 minus 37 all over 8 that's also perfectly fine no problem with that okay so that's the answer to number 8 part 1 and number 8 part 2 okay I will do this in a separate video because this got a bit long so I'll just do this in a separate video so if you'd like to watch other videos in this channel in fact I'll have a link to a video for the part B over here, part two over here, and a link to the playlist which contains this paper in this section here. And at the end of part B, I'll put the playlist for the um, integration. So thank you for watching it, and I hopefully I'll see you in part two. Okay, welcome back. This is part two of question eight from the Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level Edexcel um, October 2019 paper, and. We're going to find the value of the constant k such that the integral between minus 3 and 6 of the function a half x squared plus k with respect to x is equal to 55. 
Okay, so basically they're saying when you integrate this function here between these limits, you get 55. So let's set up an equation and that's basically going to be that. It's not that difficult really. So we have to integrate this with respect to x first. So everything's ready for integration. We don't have to do any fluffing around here. Add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So this is going to be x cubed over 3 times 2, which is 6. Plus, and you have a constant, you integrate constant, it's going to just become the constant times x because k on its own is actually like k times x to the power of 0 if you're dealing with in terms of with respect to x. So if you add 1 to the power, you get x to the power of 1 over 1, so you get kx. All right, so now that's done. With, and the limits are 6 and minus 3 and we know that this is going to give us 55 so we'll have an equation and k will be our only unknown so now we substitute the values of 6 and minus 3 into here so you have 6 cubed over 6 plus 6k minus I'll put a bracket here because of the minus signs that might come up and you know we don't want to get um, silly mistakes here so we still, that will be minus 3 cubed over 6 and you're going to have minus 3 times k because minus 3 is going to take the place of the x so you get minus 3k and then we can that's 6 cubed over 6 which is 6 squared which is 36 plus 6k minus and this is going to become a negative 27 over 6 minus 27 over 6 minus 3k and that's equal to 55 so you got 36 plus 6k plus 27 over 6 plus 3k equals 55 so you end up with on this side you have um, 30 so you have 9k plus 27 over 6 plus 36 you multiply this by 6 so you got 36 36 plus 27 over 6 that gives you 81 over 2 equals 55 so you have 9k equals 55 minus 81 over 2 which is like 9k equals 110 over 2 minus 81 over 2 110 minus 81 that's 81 that's 91 that's 101 that's 29 i think let's just make sure 110 minus 81 that's 29 so you're going to have 9k equals 29 over 2 so you get k equals 29 over 18 and there's the answer for part 2 29 over 18 i hope that was clear and there we have the answer for part 2 of this question